uh, RFM is recency, frequency, and monetary amount. And it's an indicator about customer value. Uh, so we will uh, code in the following way individual customers. Look at the three variables in your database and the customer database. Uh, and first of all, you will look at recency. Uh, so if we, as we have seen, recency means uh, how long it has been since the customer last bought with the company. Uh, so for example, one week, uh, one month, uh, six months, etc. So um, as you have this information in database, you can sort in an ascending order uh, the customers according to the most recent purchase date. If the customers with the, who bought recently in the upper part uh, of the database and those who bought, uh, bought not recently, the, the oldest one, are listed in the downer part uh, of the database. And then you will sort the data, uh, uh, the sorted data will then be divided in three groups, one third in each group, and you assign a mark from one, the best mark, uh, two, three to the best mark. We uh, look at this table, uh, so I have a database with three types of variables, so recency, uh, frequency, and monetary amount. Uh, so we have uh, the first two customers who bought one and two weeks ago or a month ago, uh, a customer, two customers who bought three and four months ago, and uh, another customer who bought five and six months ago. Okay. You will sort them according to um, ascending order. And so the best, the most recent customers are placed in the upper part, uh, and the least recent customers are placed in the lower part. And then you assign a score, uh, here at the R, on the right side. So one for the first two, who are the best customers, two for the sec medium customers, and three for the lowest tier. You have a first score of a first new variable based on recency, called, called recency, with numbers between one, two, and three. You have here the best customers here, medium customers, and low recent customers, or inactive customers. The next step is to do it the same thing for frequency. So frequency means how often a customer buys from the company in a time period. So you will sort the customers in your database in a descending order, and you will have the highest value, the highest purchase frequencies in the top of the database. And the customers who buy less frequently are, are, are placed in the bottom of the database. Again, we do, you will divide them in three different groups and will assign a score between one and three according to the quality. Again, my example, you have two customers who buy very frequently, 10 and nine times. Then you have some who bought eight, seven times and some who bought less, six and five times. I have ranked them according to a descending order. So I have the most frequent customers in the above part of the database and the least frequent customers in the lower part uh, of the database. And I assign again a score, one for the most frequent customers, two for the medium frequent customers, and three for the least frequent customers. And now I have two new variables, recency and frequency, based on the score between one and three. And finally, I do the same thing for the monetary amount, that is the money that the customers have spent on each transaction. Again, I sort by descending order, so I have the most important purchase amount in the upper part of the database and the least important amounts in the bottom part of the database. I divide again into in three groups and I give a score between one, two, and three according to the quality. So again, you have two customers who spent 180 euros, two customers 70 and 60 euros, and two customers between 50 and 20 euros, which means that I assign a score to these three groups. So group one, I will have one score one. Group two, I will have score two. And group three, I will have score three. Now we have the RFM table in the database. And so we have this created three new variables, RFM, recency, frequency, monetary amount. And now your best purchasers are those here with one, the code 111. The worst customers are here with 333. Three, three. Now we have an easy score, which you can use to segment your customers according to the value. Platinum or top customers are the 
111 group. The least customers uh, or the, the, the ivory customers are the 333. And so this means that you have segmented them in three groups and you can allocate resources to them according to these codes. In priority, you will invest resources into the 111 platinum customer. You will invest less money, so an average amount to your silver customers, the 222. And you will invest no resources to your baddest customers, which are the 333 customers, which means customers who did not buy recently, so they are inactive. And when they buy, they don't buy frequently and they buy for small amounts. Various here, the 111 customers are customers who bought recently. They buy with a high purchase frequency and they buy when they buy for a higher amount. So you have an uh, easy segment, segmentation model indicating you the value of customers and indicating you the importance of customers to which you should invest. Money. You might have also some customers which are not shown here in this table. For example, recent customers who buy frequently but for a low amount. Right? For example, one, one, three customers would be customers who buy for small amounts, very often, but for small amounts. And so you might decide that you spend some money to give them incentives to increase the purchase amount. And because your target would be to transform a 113 customer to a 112 or 111 customer. On the other hand, you might have customers 333 for the 33 for recency, but one for monetary amount. This would be a highly interesting customer because he does not buy a lot, a lot of times, and so his recency is slow and his frequency too. But when he buys, he buys a lot. So it would be interesting to convert this customer to make him a recent and frequent customer uh, in order to make from 331 this customer a 111 customer. We can do an differentiated view in the segmentation in order to see actually who are customers who might get developed, which are actually not so clear, which are customers with a high potential, but the actual value is low. So this might help you to take decisions if you can convert these customers. This is the RFM analysis, an analysis based on, on the value of the customers. 